Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season one finale of the Kings of Sync competition. I'm your host, Escape the Four Z here, and I am joined here with the Black Gamer. Say hello, buddy. Hello, guys. Thanks for having me, it's the Black Gamer, right over here. Of course, man. Well experienced gun sinker is going to be joining us today, and as well as this guy, Shazam. Not sure why he's here. Um, actually, I don't know. Get the fuck off the stage. Anyway, these guys are going to be scored on four different categories this time. Unlike the first qualifying round where they were just made uh, given a basic score. The, the scores in the finale will be based on these four categories. Variety, flow, complexity, and creativity. And then all five judges will add up the scores. And then it will be divided by five, which is the number of judges. And then you will be given an average score. And the person with the highest average score will be the overall winner. I don't know, get the fuck off the stage. Without further ado, here is our eighth place finisher. Looking at the screen, our eighth place finisher is going to be Unknown Physics. Finishing with 31.1 uh, points here. Um, his gun sync still very good from, uh, he did a Modern Warfare 3 sync, I believe. And I think this was also his 2000 subscriber special here, as you can see. Um, by the title of the video, but uh, he did some really great cinematics really enjoyed this uh, gun sync here But there was a couple of problems that I really uh, was kind of like eh about with this sync Unfortunately with this gun sync there was a lot more focus on the dancing chickens and the slow motion reloads than the actual sync themselves He kind of just shoved the good part of the sync to the left and the right side of the screen and that you could barely see them and it I really felt like Unknown Physics really lost focus with this uh, with this sync here. I don't know. I, I feel like the sync was actually pretty good, though. Still, it's just that I feel like, yeah, what you said, it's kind of uh, misleading to what an actual gun sync is really supposed to be. Like, but I mean, don't get me wrong. Though. I like the idea that he did. I like it. It's really cool. But I feel like if he didn't really sync up the dancing chickens or anything, he didn't sync up the reloads. He didn't put any sounds there. It was just there, you know, like. If he put more time into figuring out how to sink the chickens and do stuff like that, that would have been a really nice addition, you know? Like, I like how he tried to get creative, you know? I, I appreciate that he tried to get creative, but it's just, it wasn't, unfortunately, it just wasn't executed correctly. That was just the problem, you know? Here is your 7th place finisher. Finishing in 7th place with a total, a grand total of 31.4 points. Shazam, no sound effects. We got the Evil Gamer. Evil Gamer came in with a Black Ops 2 sync. It was actually very well created from the start, but the only problem with this sync that I see, it's 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 unfortunately too traditional, you know? Like, we want to see gun syncs that are way outside the box, you know? Like, we want to see gun syncs that are out of the box, you know? Something that's never really been done before, really creative. I feel like the creative side of the sync really went down just because it was, like, tr too traditional. But on the good side of this sync, this gun sync had great color correction, great cinematics, and the beat was on point. I really enjoyed this sync, no, no, nevertheless. Okay, so uh. like, aside from the creativity though, I really did like this guy's sync. Like, I really didn't see any problems with it at all. It was an improvement from his uh, entry. And uh, nothing, to, and, and Evil Gamer, you did a very good job like throughout this like competition in general. Like, I really enjoyed, like, you really when it came time to competition, you proved yourself very well. Like, I've seen your other sinks, and they weren't the best, but coming into this competition, you really went outside your comfort zone, man. And I really see that you really worked hard on these sinks, dude, and you did a very good job, you old gamer. So you have nothing to be ashamed of, man. Seventh place, the seventh place finish is still a pretty good solid finish, and you did a very good job. And Anyways, let's move on to our sixth place finisher. Going back to the big screen here, um, finishing in sixth place. With a grand total of 31.5 points, and unfortunately one upping Evil Gamer here by a tenth of a point, which is I honestly don't I honestly don't know how that fucking happened. But uh, finishing with 31.5 points here, Soapy Edits finishing sixth place here, doing a Black Ops 2 gun sync on this very stage that we're at at this spot right here when he did it, and uh, this gun sync was pretty good. He decided to use the song Permanent. It was Permanent, right? That was the song name. Yeah, permanent, yep. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So that was the song that he used uh, throughout the sync. I really liked how he used the drums throughout the sync, but unfortunately, like I said with the Evil Gamer, it felt like the gun sync was too traditional, you know? It was like, it was a traditional gun sync. Like, I enjoy the traditional gun syncs, but to win this competition, you gotta do something out of the box and, like, very creative. Like, don't you agree with what I'm saying? Oh, yes, I definitely agree with what you're saying. 
like the creativity really does show how well of a thinker you can really be. Like more creative means more points for you, and that's exactly what other people have gotten. Well, that's uh, that's exactly what I'm saying here, but. Soapy Edit still did a great job throughout this thing. Like, the drums part was really cool to add a little bit of variety to it, like a little bit more variety than just like a normal average thing. Like, you decided to use the environment around this stage, which was really nice. I, I really um, like that touch, Soapy Edits. But you still did a very solid finish. Great job, Soapy Edits. We're going to be moving on to the top five here, ladies and gentlemen. The top five here yeah. was just. Thank you, Shazam. The top five was just absolutely, uh, like, these guys just went all out on these things, like, right here. So we're going to be starting with our fifth place finisher. Our fifth place finisher with 35.1 points. Lewis Tech Games, using one of the most complex songs that uh, that exist in Gunsync history, Hyper Reality. Not only did he do multi-cod, I really liked how the flow of the gun sync was when he transitioned between the two different uh, all the different cods it was very solid on point and i really liked the gun sounds throughout this thing don't you agree uh yes i really did like this guy's thing i was thinking and i like the color correction i noticed that you, it a lot more better before i say anything more you sound like you're in the cave again did you just go to the bathroom the fuck? Oh, I'm, I'm still here i'm still here yeah, I, I thought he sounded like he went into a cave again or something, just like in the last fucking episode. Anyways, uh, Lewis Tech Games, loving the flow of the sync, the complexity of the sync was definitely his strongest point, just because, the, as you can see, this song was very difficult to sync up. A lot of fast parts of this sync, very fast paced, but my personal favorite part of this sync was the COD Ghosts part when the bass dropped. That was a very cool part of the sync, oh, yeah. as you can see right here when the machine guns are going off like this is a really cool part of the sync and the build up to the brace drop with the sniper and the bulldog going off in the side that was a very nice touch from lewis tech games here very strong sync lewis tech games you are definitely one of the most underrated gun sinkers i've ever met and you have definitely proven yourself in this competition congratulations to lewis tech games on his fifth place finish and in the fourth place position Finishing fourth on this big screen right here with 35.9 points. 35.9, which is a pretty solid score. And uh, if you were to do the, the math here, that's about a B plus uh, rating as a, uh, like if you if you were in school and I was rating these gun sinks, it would be a B plus. But coming in with a solid B plus, a 35.9, coming in from exclusively Nerdbox. Nerdbox decided to do his traditional CSGO moving gun sinks as he did before. But the only problem with this sync was that there wasn't really much change from the last gun sync that he made. It seemed like it was kind of like the same thing that he did. Like, he didn't really try to, like, go above and beyond his comfort zone or anything like that. And that's what you got to do to win at these finals, you know? Yeah, I know. It was it was somewhat similar to his other sync. However, there were some changes I noticed that were that were pretty good that, you know, I like I like this sync better than his uh, entry sync, though. However. Yeah, I could definitely agree with that. Like, I could definitely agree, like, you know, he took more time to add in cinematics into it. He took more time to add certain other guns in there, certain parts of the bass drop. This was still a very solid sync, but I feel like there was not, like, this a significant enough of a change where it could really have made a huge difference from his last one, but it, this was still a very solid sync from Nerdbox. Like, this is personal. I'm gonna be honest. This is personally one of my favorite gun sinkers, just because like I've never really seen these type of gun sinks before. And Nerdbox showed me a new world of gun sinks just now, and it's really fucking cool how you see these uh, type of sinks form here. So now, with the top three here, we have three competitors battling it out for the final spot here. And these three gun sinks that you're about to see, each and every one of them did something extra extraordinarily unique that you don't really see in many sinks here. It's gonna come down to self-flex, pointless gun sinks, and to orb she. But finishing in third place with a total of 36.5 points is gonna be to orb she, the gun sinking bird here from Germany here. He's gonna be representing those Germans very well. But in this gun sink in general, nothing was done wrong in this sink in my personal opinion. And I really loved how there was three different games in the gun sync to start off. So it was a multi-game gun sync, not multi-cod, but multi-game featuring Advanced Warfare, CSGO, and Battlefield 4. And this was a very epic sync. Like, when the song changed, it changed the roles of the guns. So, for example, as you're going to see here, 
He starts on the advanced warfare part of the gun sink as the main screen here. Then on the top right, he has Battlefield 4. Then on the top left, he's going to have CSGO. When the song changes, he does a nice like record break to make a nice smooth transition. And then each of the games changes the roles of the gun sink. So then the CSGO part has a turn to be the main part of the sink when the song changes. And then obviously later on, Battlefield 4 gets a chance. But... This gun sink was just awesome. Like, this was personally one of my favorite gun sinks from the gun sinking bird himself. This was just absolutely amazing. Like, um, uh, the Black Gamer, what do you think of this? Bushi, you did a very good job, man. Thank you for the sink. You, you've done a very good job, in my opinion. Like, this is probably one of your best work I've ever seen. I can definitely agree like, with you, that. You like, went all out. Yeah, he really did go all out. This is, this is why he's in the top three here. This is exactly why. This is the type of gun sex that I want to see win these uh, type of things. Like, he just did an absolutely great job just blending in the guns and the beats and adding him great variety and creativity here. Huge plays coming in from the Sinking Bird here. You definitely deserve where you're at. Um, the only reason that you're not in second or first is because the other two did something extraordinary just like that's yours. That's the first time I've seen a multi-game uh, gun thing. I yeah, that's a... Uh, it's, it's definite, man. It's definite. Even though you probably didn't even watch the video and you're just watching it now and seeing it now for the first time. After it's been out for like weeks. Fight me. Fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. So now we only have two gun sinkers remaining here, battling it out for the win here. Selflex and Pointless Gun Sinks. Before I reveal the results here, we're going to explain the two gun sinks in depth here. So starting with Pointless Gun Sinks, looking at this sink behind us. Like, this gun sink, after 51 hours of editing, it came out to be a monstrous gun sink from Pointless Gun Sinks. Definitely his best works that I've ever seen, and it was just absolutely flawless. He used different types of songs, different types of variety within the songs, different types of guns, Call of Duties from everywhere, including Modern Warfare uh, 2, uh, Advanced Warfare, um, what... what and then like a bunch of other Call of Duty games and etc. And this gun sink was just absolutely flawless. Like you just see him going absolutely off with this sink. Fast beats. But my personal my personal favorite part of the sink was when it transitioned from the Bad Boy song into the fourth song of the sink. I forget the name of it. But then he transitioned from day to night and then it transitioned into a cool ass laser show and it was fucking amazing. What do you think, uh, Hamadi? What do you think? Yes, you, you really did blow my mind with this thing. Like, I actually did not expect anything out of you with this thing. Oh, like, it, this is such a really good thing in my. Yeah, I know. Like, literally, I watched this and I'm like, oh my god. Like, I, my jaw is literally dropped and I was shaking. I was literally shaking for hours. Like, I felt like I had a seizure or something like it was just absolutely fucking amazing like I, I had no words to watch in this sink but my jaws just dropped and i'm just like holy shit and ps box one absolutely loved this sink as well like he really enjoyed this as well so you definitely improved on your gun sinks in the past and that gun sink right there proved to me that you are a worthy gun sinker in this uh in this world and uh congratulations to you and to orb she uh you have both become directors of the Kings of Sync uh, community channel as uh, just as a bonus. So now going over to Selflex's side of the sync here, going to Selflex's side, this gun sync was just absolutely unbelievable. Using only advanced warfare for this gun sync, but he did something that no one has ever done before. Like this has never been done by anybody and I consider it as video games worthy right here. If you look at this sync yeah. very carefully in the beginning here, it goes through a nice beat, nice color correction to blend in with the gun sink, like very solid color correction in the beginning and in the middle. But the main part of this sink was that it was moving in Call of Duty. No one's ever done this before, except in CSGO, like as you see, saw with Nerdbox. But this was far more advanced than you can ever have imagined. The lasers just were absolutely gorgeous in this sink. What'd you, what'd you say? What'd you think? I gotta say, like, ow. How does he do that? Man, I can't even do that. I know, me neither. Call of Duty. I would have, uh, uh, when I tried to, uh, if, if, he told me he individually cut those lasers, too. Like, I would have quit on the oh first one. Goodness. I would have quit on the first fucking one. But, that was just gorgeous. That is beauty in the making right there. Something that has never been engineered before, as you can see. The guns are moving. Nice flow within the gun sink. 
and then it goes back to the traditional part of the sink, but it was fast, it was furious, and it was fucking amazing. And the color correction was on fucking point. I enjoyed this thing from start to end. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the final results from the last two gun sinkers here. Finishing with 36.7 points is going to be Pointless Gun Sinks, which means your official winner is going to be Selflex! Okay, I, I can stop yelling and shit. And wait, okay, kill Shazam. Congratulations oh, to. Congrats, <laughs> Selflex. Congrats to, congratulations to Selflex. You are our official winner of the Kings of Sync Season 1 competition and the winner of the $25 prize here. And it, this was just an absolutely amazing showing here from Selflex. Looking at this gun sink one last time, the masterpiece was just absolutely gorgeous. And the reason that you're the winner is because you engineered something that no one has ever seen before. Like, that has never been engineered before. This is why this gun sink wins. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Just absolutely on fucking point. Anyways, congratulations to Selflex. And by the way, nothing to take away from pointless gun sinks here. He did an amazing job with this gun sink, man. Like, he did everything right. It's just Selflex came up with the one-up, dude. Selflex just played the one-up game, and he, and he got the game right there. But pointless gun sinks, great job, man. You have been an awarded as a director as a bonus. So you're not going to go home empty-handed, man. But you did an amazing job as well. And you're saying 51 hours is no small feat, dude. Absolutely no small feat. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this competition. Thank you so much to everybody involved in this competition. From the judges and everybody involved, the competitors. Everybody's going to be linked in the description down below. Even if you were eliminated in the qualifying round. And by the way, we are going to confirm Season 2 of Kings of Sync. We are going to be doing a yeah. Season 2. Season 2, bitches. Yeah, Season 2, motherfuckers. And get off the stage. Thank you. Um, so, anyways, Season 2 is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably going to be either next summer or during the winter time. I don't know when I'm going to be able to host it or whatever. But Season 2 of Kings of Sync is confirmed. And I honestly cannot wait because this season did so well, we decided to bring it back for another season. So, and Selflex, since you are our official winner, you will be joining the judges next season. So then you could be a judge alongside a self like so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video Thank you guys so much for letting me be able to host this competition and thank you to all the competitors that competed and um, Any other final words before we uh, close the screen? Thank you for having me <laughs> That's all you got man. You don't have like a speech or anything like uh, this is the times now uh, I, I, this, is, this is all you know, this is all on me. I guess so Shazam, do you have any <laughs> final words? Even though I don't know shit, but, you know, whatever. Congrats to the, all the winners, all of you guys. You're awesome. And, uh, fuck you. Alright. <laughs> 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 and now we're going to be moving on to Selflex here. Before we reveal the top two here, Selflex. This gun sink, I, I... I I honestly don't know why this just popped up like oh my god the moving part of the gun sink was just ridiculous like just absolutely ridiculous i'm recording are you hold on i got interrupted oh. damn it <laughs> i was recording don't you see i didn't say anything all right, hold on, I gotta... okay what cut gotta redo my sister barge in the room god fucking damn it wow who was that you gotta that be is. fucking but kidding me is. you gotta be <laughs> fucking is that kidding your mom? me no, it was my sister. She was turning the light. She was flicking the light on and off, and it was coming onto the mic. Fuck. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I'm done. I'm done. GG. Escape. I'm Goodnight, done. Everybody. So, uh, Unknown Fishix, still a very strong finish, buddy. Finishing eighth place, that is still a very strong finish. I, that, that was still a very good finish, man. And you are. We're about to end doing... the game. Oh. What the fuck? You forgot to, to take out the timer. Oh shit. You gotta do it all over again. <laughs> you heard? I had to no, I could, just, I could just, I could just, I could just, I could just make this a little bit. Oh my god, look at the pile of dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that as a blooper in the end. Holy shit.